Hello, my name is David Staples. I've been working in the IT field for a number of years, and I've decided to create a video series to share some tips, tricks, and useful features of a number of different applications. So I hope you find these useful, and thank you for watching. Today we're going to be talking about how to copy files into your SharePoint site, or your SharePoint library, I should say, using just Windows Explorer. So, Right now you can see my current instructor site that I use for teaching my virtual classes or my in-person classes when I'm actually traveling or, or teaching in a classroom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start by coming over here to my instructor's shared documents. So if I click on that, we open up our library. And as you can see, currently I have no files in there. Now, we could certainly use the standard method of just coming over here and clicking on Add Document and copy them in there either one by one or, or dragging them in uh, using the drag and drop method or the, the multiple file upload. Uh, but today's topic, of course, is using Windows Explorer. So what we'll do is we'll come up here to where it says Library, just underneath where it says Library Tools. And I'm going to click there. And of course, with SharePoint 2010, we've got the new ribbon. So uh, we're going to come on the ribbon over here to uh, this little computer in front of a folder icon and you'll see where it says open with explorer when I hover over it uh, depending upon your screen resolution you may actually see the words open with explorer as an option on your ribbon uh, mine I've got some smaller icons because I am using a, a server that's uh, a little bit smaller as far as the resolution that it's displaying on my screen so we're going to click on the icon here and it will take just a minute or so uh, but it will go ahead and open up a explorer window and here it comes and so now I'm just going to hit control N to pull up a new Windows Explorer window as well because as you can see my shared documents up here is currently empty and if we just take a look at the location up here in the URL box you'll see that this is the location of my shared documents. So, coming back over here to the new window that I opened, I'm just going to come on to my C drive, and we're just going to use some class files that I use in my courses. And we'll just start with one of the documents called Priority Levels and just drag it over there. Just like you would with any other Windows Explorer operation when you're copying a file. So now you'll see that the, the box pops up saying that it's copying. Uh, it does, does take just a moment for it to process. So we'll give that 15-20 uh, you know, seconds or so. And now that we see the document here on the right hand side, it's finishing up all of its processing. It shows the date modified as 2-21-2011, which is the same over here. So now if I open up Internet Explorer again and just hit Control R to refresh, we'll see that my new file is in there. Very easy, right? So let's do it again. So we come back over here. We've got my policies folder on my local computer. And then we have my site, uh, my Share Documents library on my SharePoint site. So Let's say that I want to copy my responsibilities document over there. It's just as simple as drag and drop. And after a few seconds, the preparing to copy and then copying one item box will come up. And it will just give me the status showing, hey, I'm copying this item over. It's 13 kilobytes. And very shortly, we'll see it appear in the box on the right as it finishes up all of its processing. And we notice the date, of course, is the same as well, 2-21-2011. So uh, it's, we say that it's not a, a new date because we haven't modified the document. It's simply just copying it from my local computer to the SharePoint site. So we'll come back over here to the Internet Explorer. We can refresh again. I'll just use the refresh button up here this time. And we see there's responsibilities. So hopefully you guys have found this useful and you'll be able to put it to use in uh, your daily use of SharePoint. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at uh, either of the email addresses that I'll be putting on the screen. And uh, also feel free to send me any sort of suggestions or questions as far as things that you'd like to see me cover in a, a future edition. So Have a great day.